this is Sarah from Great Days by Sarah, and today I have for us a cardio core workout. We're going to work to get our heart rate nice and high during the cardio piece, and then have an active recovery while working our entire core front and back during the second part of each block. Let's get warmed up. Let's start with a simple knee pull. Knee pulls up to your chest, and then drops. If you have the space, you can walk with this. If not, just do it marching in place. Let's reverse it. Quad pull, step it down. Last one each side. Kick your left foot out, we'll sweep down for a hamstring stretch. All the way up, stay with the left leg in front. Sweep down and up. As you sweep down, hip slide back. Last one. And switch sides where it like comes out. Big sweep. First block today is going to be jumping jacks, which we have a modification for, and Russian twists. Here we go. Nice and soft on those feet. Modification, keep your arms super straight and step it out. It's only 30 seconds here with the cardio and that's true for all our rounds today. So really push yourself to get your heart rate up. And don't get frustrated if it's not up this first round. Coming down to the mat, Russian twists. Come down slow tip back, pretend you're holding a basketball, and shift side to side. Notice there's not built in time for our transitions, but do what works for you. Your goal is to keep moving through the three and a half minutes of each block. Three, two, one, we're right back up. Push yourself, it's only 30 seconds. Breathe. Maybe move a little quicker. You're only 15 seconds left of this one. Remember, when that dings, we're coming down. Russian twist. Down slow, find the straight back, take a beat for your form, and then move into it. If you want a little bit more of a challenge with the core, lift your feet off the mat. But not if it sacrifices your back, not if you're rounding your spine. You got this. Stand up nice and slow. Here we go. Last time through this. Final beat of jumping jacks. Right here. 20 seconds. How quick can you move those feet? How strong can you pull your arms down? How much can you move your yoga mat? Just kidding, mine's all over the place today. You got this. Down. Set it up. Decide your variation and you're right into it. Now this is the last time through this round. So at the end of every round, we have a bonus plank. So when you hear the magical ding, don't stop, get water. Flip it right over, there it is. Find your plank. Full plank or modified straight line from either your heels to your shoulders or your knees to your shoulders. And just try to stay still. It's only 30 seconds, then we recover. Breathe. Three, two, one, now drop. Excellent. Shift it back, stand it up slow. I'll encourage you to stand up 
walk a bit, fix your space if yours is as messy as mine. 30 seconds and we're into round two. Round two is fully on the mat. We're going plank jacks, which I might need to modify today. My lower back is not feeling super strong, but a plank jack will be here. If you have a, if you have a yoga mat, they start on, they jump off. It's here. Here we go. Or the modification is the step. The jump feels okay to me. I'm gonna see how long I can go for. My shoulders stay over my wrists. My hips stay low. They're not piped up. If you're modifying, move quick. Quick, quick. Three, two, time. Coming down into the mat, we're in swimmers. Remember, there's no transition time. We're right into it. So eyes are towards the mat. Working this back half of our core, which many of us often forget about. Palms are facing each other. And it's opposite hand lifts opposite foot. So your right lifts with your left. Back up to your plank jack. Get right into it. Don't think, just go. Excellent, keep moving. Once again, if you're modifying, you're stepping out, out, in, in, and it's fast because you want to get your heart rate up. Come on down, and as soon as you're down, get into it. Think right foot, left hand, and we swim. To modify, it's just one drop, other one lifts. Once you get the rhythm of it, pick it up, and both stay off the mat the whole time. But keep your gaze down. Up. Last time through, here it is. Excellent. Can you pick it up? Last time through this, less than 10. Down. Last time through swimmers. Eyes down, limbs long. Here it comes. We're in a very challenging plank after this. Breathe. Three, two, one. Press right up. Find your plank. I'll encourage you, even though your shoulders are tired, try it from your feet to start. Just focus on your breath. I gaze slightly in front of you. You got this. Don't drop at that first thing. That's just three, two, one. Now drop. Shake out those arms. No upper body this last round, I promise you. Take a sip, walk it out. We got butt kicks for our cardio and toe touches laying on our backs for our abs. So in our butt kicks, show you from the side, it's exactly what they are. You're kicking your heels towards your glutes as close as you can. Modification is just to march it out fast, but it is fast because it is cardio. If you're running and jumping today, you're running it out. I'll do mine from the side and I'll show you the core. Here it is, final round. Use those arms, tuck your tailbone, 
Kick your butt as quick as you can. Excellent. You're more than halfway through. Down. Toe touches. Send your legs high. Flex your feet back. We're reaching up towards our feet. You can reach them. Great. Have a little bit of an advantage here. Super long arms. If you can't reach your toes, no problem. Reach towards them. You know what's coming. Stand it up. Butt kicks right into it. Try moving your arms a little bit quicker. Your legs have to keep up. Just like running. Arms staying close to your side. Try not to twist them this way because it really does mess with your hips, especially in these. So right out in front. Three, two, one. Coming right down. Toe touches. This time, don't rest in between. You're here. Here. So don't set your head down in between each rep. Your tail is tucked towards the ceiling, really working those lower abdominals. Eyes are towards the sky. You got this. Roll it right up. Last time through already. Here it is. How quick can you get there? Excellent. Quick, quick. Less than 15. So strong. Their home stretch. Coming down. Reach them up. Can you move a little quicker this time? Maybe you lower a little less. Lower abdominals, stay engaged the whole time. I really do want your fingertips reaching for your toes and not behind your head. If you need it, if your neck is too tired, I will stay wide. Ready? Flip it out. 30 second plank. Final one of the day. Leaving everything on the mat. Strong legs, press through your heels. Squeeze your glutes. Press up through all 10 fingers. Gaze a little bit in front of you. Don't look back towards your belly button. It's still there. You got this. One, drop your knees. Press it back to child's pose. Reach your arms as long as you can. Reach it out. Big breaths in and out. Come on up, tabletop, bring your left foot forward. Let's find a deep lunge. Arms can stay right here on your, on your front leg or lift it up if you want a little bit more of a stretch into this half crescent. Wherever you are, send your hips back. Flex your foot towards the sky. Pull your left hip back. Right hip comes forward. Hamstring stretch. Bring it through the center. We're going to go into a frog posture. Wide knees, right, wide feet. And then walk your chest forward. Maybe you're just on your forearms. Maybe you can come down all the way to the mat. We're just here for a moment. Stretch out your inner thighs. Maybe it feels good to gently rock back and forth before we switch over to the other side. You're going to hear a ding, but we're going to finish our warm up, our cool down. Lunge it out. Hands option to come up. Good. 
press it back, hamstring stretch. And swing this back leg around to the front, reach your arms back, open up through your chest and your shoulders. Arch your back so you feel a little stretch even through your abdominals. And slowly release it. Nice work today. Thanks for joining me for that quick workout. Go have a great day.